Hi, my name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the Oxford comma. Now the Oxford comma is a little variation on the comma and it's actually my favourite thing about punctuation, which I know sounds ridiculous but I enjoy it. The Oxford comma is one of the most debated marks in grammatical history, or at least currently, and that's because nobody can agree on whether or not to use it. Now, just quickly, the Oxford comma is when you use, an Oxford com uh, you use a comma in lists, but you place a comma before an and. So, for instance, we might say, uh, I need my pyjamas, a toothbrush, and a sleeping bag to go camping. Now, we're definitely going to put a comma after my pyjamas before a toothbrush, because we need to mark those off as separate items. But you can see now we have and a sleeping bag, and this is where it gets difficult. Some people will say that you need a comma before the and, and other people will say that you don't. Technically, because at the moment nobody agrees, both is correct. But in Australian English, we tend to err away from the Oxford comma. This means if you have an and in a list, that you have to keep the comma out. Now the issue around not using an Oxford comma, and this is what a lot of pro-Oxford comma supporters will say, is that it can make your sentence unclear. So for instance, if I said something like, I went to a party and I saw two seals, Tony Abbott and Bill Shorten. Without the Oxford comma, it looks like Bill Shorten and Tony Abbott were the two seals, or the names of the two seals. But if we put the comma before the and, you can see that we've actually clearly demarcated the three. So we have the two seals, Tony Abbott and Bill Shorten. That's all for the Oxford comma. I'm not going to tell you whether or not to use it, but if you want to adhere to Australian style, you shouldn't put a comma before the end, even though I like it. That's all. If you want to check out our punctuation videos um, for other punctuation, you can check them out on this website.